Good morning, everyone. So today I'm going to show you a typical training day at home, getting ready for an Ironman. So yeah, first session of the day will be an indoor session uh, on Zwift. I'm doing a typical session, um, 20 times three minutes with like big, bigger gear, just getting um, the endurance in, but also power. So here I have my workouts. Um, yeah, I have a few planned which I often do, and one of them is the 20 times three minutes. Um, I, have, I had my coffee in the morning because otherwise it's hard to get going for me. But um, otherwise, yeah, I have always breakfast after my first session. So first, first session of the day is without any food um, and yeah, that's it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just tired and I think we should still get going. So how much uh, do you drink on a regular per se? Um, I think it's going to be quite a sweaty session today, <laughs> quite warm already. Um, so on like a two hour session indoor on the bike, I would probably have four beetles like this. So. Um, yeah, I have about two liters on two hours and I on two of them is just water and then one is with some carbs, some long chain carbs and then some electrolytes as well. Let's go. It was rough. <laughs> um, yeah, it's hard if you know what you used to do. Going with 260 watts, just going like a weak peak sucks quite a bit. <laughs> um, but yeah, I got it done 20 times, three minutes. Um, it felt really hard even though the watts were quite bad. Some days are just about getting the session done. Still, since Miami is struggling quite a bit, just being very tired. The legs just don't feel good, but um, the beauty about getting ready for an Ironman is to just get the sessions done, you know, push them through uh, and focus on the effort. Um, the effort was definitely good today. I felt like I pushed hard and tried to also, I mean, the heart was kind of going up quite a bit. So yeah, it was like around 170 heart rate for the whole set. I guess, good effort done. So I got my two. Oh, actually, yeah, pretty much got all, jump it off. It was pretty warm, which yes, yeah, 20 degrees. <laughs> so yeah, let's get some breakfast. Today is going to be three solid sessions. So having three sessions, I always feel like you've done one and then you're like, okay, let's just eat rest and then we have to do it again. Sounds funny, but I'm hurrying up to get my nap in. <laughs> so, to have some rest between is quite important. Um, that's why we actually, I ha I'll, uh, I'll do two portions, one for me, one for my girlfriend. So um, normally I would have the cereal like this, but as I'm running in like an hour, I will actually do a little trick. So if I do a, hard run, I normally eat low fiber, but obviously this is not gonna be low fiber. So what I do is I have cereal with oats and nuts and I put it in a mixer. What it does is um, it cuts the fiber into smaller pieces. And then like that, the mixer does the part of the digestion. So it's already much quicker to absorb from the body. So within an hour, you actually can digest where if you eat it, in whole pieces, it's much harder to digest. It 
So yeah. Sports hacks. So for example, if I have a meeting straight after my first session and I have to drive somewhere, that's not what I normally take with me. Yeah, it's a fast breakfast and you have at least like some good nutrients in it. So morning routine, breakfast done. Now off to round two. Yes, so round two is coming. I had a five minutes nap. That was nice. Today is going to be 40 minutes. We'll see. I've been quite tight on my adductors and hamstrings, so I'll have to see how it goes. But maybe some 30 seconds on off if the body holds it. I'm not sure yet. Otherwise, I'll do a build. adjusted it I couldn't run fast my it's like close to tear my uh, bum and hamstring apart it's quite sore um, and within sling so I switched it to instead of 30 fast stuff and um, I did a uh, five times six minutes with 15 and 15 and a half so like kind of go arm in pace better than today than just jogging so I still got a bit of a session in and without getting it too bad so I'm just trying to get in the bottom it was like 50 minutes 11 a bit more than 11k and um yeah that's it short and sweet and so now we go for lunch i guess um let's see what we have in the fridge get some quick lunch and then have a bit of a rest and uh and then we have a swim in the afternoon. Okay, what's next? Of course, there's different ways you can train, but that's where um, Brett really always found to coach me well. I don't think I ever run more than 30K and that still gives you a bit of training, but doesn't tire you so much. And I barely ever go like over four and a half is very rare. <laughs> 